Hello, hyperspace. My name is Devontos, and it's time to get hyped because this is some Halloween Overwatch gameplay. And I know Halloween in the middle of November, but tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving for those of you who celebrate it. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, then happy Thursday, and I hope you have a great Thursday leading into Friday. So, in this video, we are going to talk about Symmetra. Now, currently in the PTR, there is a new Symmetra that is being played by everybody on the PTR. And she has a huge buff and change, I guess you can kind of call it. Now, she's not overpowered. This new Symmetra is not overpowered. But I would say she is much more reliable than the current Symmetra we are using now. Now, with this current Symmetra, every time anybody plays Symmetra, they worry about trapping enemies with those turrets, earning the teleporter, placing a teleporter, and that's about it. Just protect the teleporter. However, with this new Symmetra, she's much more reliable. Current Symmetra is specifically used for defense, and most people see it if you take Symmetra on attacking. It's kind of like a big no-no. Bad move. But this new one, she's good in attacking and defending. So let's talk about what she has and what she can do. So let's talk about Symmetra's turrets. Everybody loves to hate Symmetra's turrets. They're really useful, but also very annoying and really easy to destroy. With the new Symmetra, you instantly start with all six turrets. Currently, you know, you start off with three, you place three, wait for the cooldown, and continue placing until you get all six. New one, you instantly start with six, which is really good. And uh, the cooldown time is much lower, I guess. Um, the current Symmetra cooldown time per turret is 12 seconds. The new Symmetra cooldown time is 10 seconds, so it's really really useful and you can actually set your turret traps much faster in the beginning of the game let's talk about her primary weapon i don't even know what that thing is called let's look at it like fingers but whatever that thing is um the they had the two rates of fire you can fire those orbs and then the laser beam that locks onto enemies the orbs seem to travel a little bit faster i don't know if it's just me but it seems like it travels a little bit faster however the laser beam that locks onto enemies the range was increased it looks like it was probably doubled at least from the gameplay that i'm watching so you don't have to get that close to people especially if like you get into a reaper's face you're always going to lose that gunfight so symmetric can now be a little further from the opponents when they're tagged with her laser beam but the special thing about symmetra is her ultimate and her new shield ability so symmetra's shield ability now with the current symmetra you press whatever button on pc and whatever button you have it set on console whatever you press the button and she deploys a weak 25 hit point shield everybody thinks that 25 hit point shield is completely useless i mean it's 25 hit points it's not gonna do much the only good thing is it can regenerate but it just feels like a chore you just gotta find the teammates and just put that little weak shield if not you feel uncomfortable and they start complaining so this new symmetra she can basically deploy and basically like throw out there a huge Reinhardt sized shield and it will just continue moving forward until it hits the surface and it will be destroyed. Or if it takes too much fire, it will be destroyed. But it's a huge Reinhardt shield that she just throws out there and it moves about as fast as her little orbs from her primary weapon it moves just about that fast so it can be used to like help escort payloads or help clear little areas if you stay behind it you're gonna do a lot of damage while not taking any damage at all and it just seems very very useful and it's gonna completely change how people play her because now she's just gonna be a, a, a force to be reckoned with on defense if she traps you and she can if the team stays with her she's gonna be very very useful on attacking so, I know some of you guys are asking, what about the shields that she deploys on teammates? What about those? Well, that's where her ultimate comes in. Symmetra will have two ultimates that you can toggle from. Now, the first one is her teleporter. And the teleporter works exactly the same how it always would. However, this teleporter can regenerate health. So, if your teleporter is spotted and it starts taking damage, and you kill the guy who's damaging your teleporter, your teleporter will regenerate health, making it just about as strong as it originally was when you first placed it. But her second ultimate is a shield generator it looks just like the teleporter instead of having that teleporting oval on it it kind of has like some kind of sphere but what this um shield generator does is it has a certain radius and it has uh doesn't have any lines of sight so as long as you're near it even if it's like inside a room you're still going to be given some shield it gives you 75 shield obviously shield can regenerate and i'm not too sure if the shield generator itself has regenerating health 
but I do know that it gives everybody who's near it 75 shield, including Symmetra. So you tag that with Torbjorn's 75 armor, and you're just gonna basically be creating tanks among all of your teammates. It all sounds just so insane, but because Symmetra has a barrier that she can just throw out there alongside with the shield generating ultimate, she's gonna be very effective on both attacking and defending. Now usually when people take the Symmetra, let's use like a escort the payload, you're defending the payload, you're stopping the enemies from taking it, and you place your Symmetra pods. However, when the enemies capture that payload, most Symmetra players just switch out because as the payload is moving, Symmetra isn't as powerful as she should be. But because she has the shield generator, you can still place it by the payload, and you're basically gonna have these, you know, more powerful teammates protecting the payload from advancing. And on top of that, you can have that barrier that you can just throw out there to push the enemies back, protecting the payload even further. So it just, it just sounds amazing, and Symmetra is one of my favorite heroes, however I just never really use her much for, for well, those reasons. She's not as, effect as effective as she should be. But I just can't wait for this patch to hit publicly so all you guys can try it out and so I can have some gameplay for you guys and just use Symmetra almost all the time. Just like I'm using Sombra all the time. And that's basically all the information for this new Symmetra. I don't know when new Symmetra is going to hit the servers publicly. She was released on the PTR yesterday, so I say give it about maybe a week or a couple of days and then she should be hitting the public servers. And, and also, have you guys noticed that Sombra doesn't have the laughing emote or the sitting down emote? Like, everybody has it except Sombra. Maybe Blizzard forgot to toss it in there, maybe they'll give it to us when uh, the new Symmetra hits in. But, uh, I, just, I was just checking through her stuff and I seen it. Anyway, if you liked the video, punch that like button with a mighty force you can follow me up on twitter at devontos man i'll leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay it's almost over and as always i'll see all of you in the next video have a nice day Freeze! Don't move! Damage increase! 60 seconds. Do you need a doctor? Group up here. Where does it come? Thank you. Come and face me! 30 seconds remaining. Time's running out. Back. Let's keep them back. Let's drop the key. Simple geometry. Power pack. Let the dragon consume you!